I've never seen uh, attempt after attempt after attempt to smear uh, and like besmirch a human being as I saw with you. I've never, and I'm, I'm serious about this. There was maybe less negative press about Osama bin Laden than you. I mean, I mean, I like, I, I think there was Good more one. of like people trying to understand Osama bin Laden. But how do you not, especially because you went through this very powerful ordeal? And I don't know how, and I know that a lot of that was internal family dynamics and your own health and your family's health. But how do you not become resentful against uh, the people that have uh, tried to assassinate your character? Also, do you blame any of them for what you went through recently, which we'll, we'll talk about? You know, I worked through a lot of the answers to the questions that you're asking while I was writing this second book, it's no joke to to have that happen to you. It's, it's given me more insight into why people are so likely to not say the things they need to say when it's the time to say them. Because the trouble that that can cause is very uh, difficult to cope with. And Right. So just to remind y'all, because, you know, they're not speaking about directly about what is what the things were that Jordan B. Peterson was being criticized for. And, you know, they were trying to get him canceled for was that, like I said, his claim to fame was in the post Trump era or immediately before he was uh, the main thing that he was challenging was the implementation of a new law that was declaring that transgender people would be protected under the you know same you know civil rights statues as other marginalized groups prepared to suffer the consequences that society may deem you need to suffer because of your views i'm yes i'm prepared to do that well so what am i willing to do well i think that the ontario human rights tribunal is probably obligated by their own tangled web to to bring me in front of it if they find me i won't pay it if they put me in jail i'll go on a hunger strike I'm not thought, doing this. And that's that. Mm -hmm. I'm not using the wor words that other people require me to use, especially if they're made up by radical left-wing ideologues. Now, if our society comes to some sort of consensus over the next while about how we'll solve the pronoun problem, let's call it, and that becomes part of popular parlance and it seems to solve the problem properly without sacrificing the distinction between singular and plural and without requiring me to memorize an impossible list of an indefinite number of pronouns, then I would be willing to reconsider my position. But I'm also partly um, opposed to this because it's been made mandatory and has the whole weight of the law behind it. It's like, this is a very bad idea. I believe this is a very bad idea. And I believe that the reason this has caused so much noise, tremendous amount of noise, tremendous amount of attention on YouTube, is because there are things that, that are at stake in this discussion, despite its surface nature, that's, that, that strike at the very heart of our civilization.